Hey guys, Tom Zhang here. Today I'm making a quick short video on this application called Tap2. It's made by Tap2.com. Um, it's uh, sort of like the new kid on the block in terms of RSS readers, um, applications for your iOS devices. Um, you probably have heard of, you know, some of the other big players in this game, uh, namely Flipboard, Zeit, uh, News360. Well, um, the, the good thing with this application is if, if you're not an iPad user, uh, such as you're using an iPhone or iPod, you'll be able to use this application on your iPhone or iPad, uh, iPod as opposed to Flipboard, which is only currently available for iPad. But uh, rumors has it that Flipboard is um, uh, developing uh, an addition uh, for the iPhone and iPod. So, But until then, you probably have to um, rely on you know applications like Tap2 uh, for your iPhone or iPod but anyways uh, this like I mentioned earlier does have both versions if you're an iPad user great if you're not uh, you can always use the iPhone version as well <clears throat> now uh, there are some minute details, but not as much as the other applications. I think this one's rather pretty straightforward. So uh, I am going to uh, fire up the application and show you the application itself in action. And do notice this is actually um, not the first time I'm running this application. So actually I have some of these uh, sections already fine-tuned and, uh, uh, you know, custom to my taste. Um, so you see I have all these uh, TWA technology and gadget sections already loaded, Facebook. Um, uh, if it is your first time running it, I'll have a sort of... Uh, a very simple instructions on how to start this application but uh, this application is very easy to uh, get used to it's um, uh, the learning curve is relatively uh, next to none so um, but let me just go ahead and mention some of the obvious <clears throat> This application is basically divided into two sections. The uh, the, the, the column at the top, uh, which is all the functionalities. Uh, you get to add, you get to, you know, edit the you know the, the the sections to be displayed on your home page and the uh, settings and then the reload button um, so let me go ahead and uh, just go through each one of these so let's say if I want to add something <clears throat> they have you know the featured sections of their uh, prominent RSS uh, news feeds um, you can get from your Facebook. It'll ask you for your Facebook credentials, LinkedIn if you're one of those professional users, um, Lucky Dip, Mashable, Fast Company, Fast Company if you like, um, CNBC or you know uh, Day uh, Day Trader, um, and a lot of these other ones. Okay, so, or you can do it with the uh, topics, you know, social network news, sports, they got it all. And uh, let's see if we can find technology here. And let's say we're interested in all things D. And there we go. So every time you add something new, it comes up to the very top. Um, and you can sort of try to sort that, but I'll get to that here in a little bit. And, um, okay, so let's say if you want to read your Google Readers um, thing, um, notice I did sign in ahead of time, so if you use it for the first time, it'll ask you for your uh, Google Reader credentials, but that's a pretty fast procedure. Um, and so it loads up my um, sections from Google Reader. And um, the thing that I sort of found this application not to offer as other applications have is you're not able to import all of your Google Reader stuff into here, like just um, uh, having just one section that's Google Reader. Instead, you would have to... Um, and you can't even import like the uh, the section, um, like in Flipboard. You know, I can import my whole Google account, or you know, you know these individual sections. 
Um, but this application, I don't think uh, it, it can do that just yet. <clears throat> so hopefully in the upcoming updates, they will be able to do that. But anyways, uh, you will be able to just add um, sources one by one. And, uh, and so let's go back here. Now let's just, uh, let me show you how this works. Basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. You, you know, scroll left to right based on what kind of uh, news you're interested. And I find this to be pretty nice. You know, you get <clears throat> everything in, um, basically, uh, uh, at, at one glance and if you're not interested you can scroll left to right it makes things a lot easier and it looks pretty cool too you know when you slide all these things go crazy <clears throat> and uh, say if I want to you know read something here it loads up down here now I wish it sort of kind of filled up the whole screen it, you know the half screen it's just a little bit hard to get to um, and of course you can share it on your favorite um, social network Facebook Twitter or email and you can also browse it on the web in an uh, internal browser and uh, you press the X button to quit and go back to your home screen now let's go back to what I mentioned earlier about sorting <coughs> now um, you can also manually add stuff here um, by clicking the add but um, I sort of went over that earlier so I'm gonna skip that for now and so let's say if you want to remove something let's say I want to remove my tap two tips I can press the X key and it will be removed from my home home screen um, however do you notice I couldn't really rearrange things I couldn't say you know drag something and then Okay, maybe it did, but it's not very responsive. Okay, so you can. Great, great. But, um, all right, good. It's not very responsive, though. See, at first, when I tried this application earlier, um, I couldn't really drag anything, and, and even still, I can't. So uh, maybe it's just something with the coding. It's not very responsive. Um, but anyways, getting back to here, you can sort of change the colors of these. Um, sort of just add a color code onto these, uh, which is very beautiful. Um, and I think you can also rename it. <clears throat> or maybe not. Okay, great. And... Um, so the next button is the uh, settings button. You can tell other but, uh, others about it, tell your buddies about it. Um, these are all pretty self-explanatory. And then here is the reload button, which, you know, runs through all of your sources and checks for the latest updates. So anyways, guys, that was a quick run, quick run through of the new kid in town, the uh, Tap2 RSS Reader. You can get it on the iTunes uh, for free, so uh, if this is something you're interested, please go ahead and check it out. Um, so anyways guys, I hope you enjoy the video. <clears throat> please go ahead and uh, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Add me on Facebook. Um, if you have any specific requests, uh, such as an application or gameplay, uh, please let me know. And you can do that in one of the two following ways, or both. Uh, you can post um, something on my Facebook uh, wall, or you can post something on the wall of my YouTube, or maybe just send me a uh, private message. Uh, either of these ways will work. So anyways, guys, uh, until next time, I'll see you here at TomZang.us. Thanks.